Get ready to fight for your lives with this list of the top 10 PS4 survival games, arranged by PlayScore. The PlayScore is an average of gamer and critic ratings. Number 10. Don't Starve, Mega Pack We're starting this on a light yet silent note with a definitive package of Cly Entertainment's gothic open-world survival. Even before the added DLCs and multiplayer capabilities, there was already a lot to love about this game. First and foremost, the atmosphere provided by their instrument-based sounds and German expressionism-inspired aesthetic. But it doesn't just look good, it plays well too. Spazio Italia may have just given it a decent score of 7.5. It was mostly because of what they felt was an overload of content, and more importantly, a bad Italian localization. On the other hand, still in Italy, IGN's Francesco Destri gave it an 8.70, pointing out just how addictive the survival elements are, together with the suspense that their roguelike format offers. Don't Starve has proved itself as a worthy survival title, and with this definitive package, it proves the ultimate experience with a play score of 8.49. Number 9. Darkwood Believe it or not, this is developer Acid Wizard Studios' first video game. Their five years of hard work has clearly paid off. Step into mid-80s Poland and make it through the nights in a top-down perspective. As a survival horror title, Darkwood's primary sell has always been its total lack of jump scares. That might sound boring, but that's what makes the game so special. It delivers spine-tingling terrors even without it. But that's not to say there weren't any criticisms either. GameRent gave the game a 7.00. While they admit that its weird characters and unnerving moments add up to a twisted experience, they also say that ultra-tough gameplay is likely to turn quite a few people off, and it can be tedious. However, We Got This Covered also points out its appeal, turning night into your greatest enemy and makes players question what could be lurking in the dark. If continuous tension is what you're into, Darkwood is a special fit with a play score of 8.5. Number 8. Outlast First released in 2014, Outlast was a sensation at the outset. It has a premise anchored on seeing through the halls of a psychiatric hospital using nothing but a camcorder's night vision. And with that, it has seeped into the world of streamers and gifted the world with second-hand frights. Just like Darkwood, this is also one of developer Red Barrel's first titles and its debut has granted us more terrors than expected. Outlast, as it forces you to manage batteries amidst the presence of unseen psychopaths, stays true to the heart of the survival horror. It's not quite a winner among critics with a score of 7.87. It has garnered a decent 7 from Arcade Sushi, who found the game relies too heavily on Hollywood tactics. PS Lifestyle counters this with a rating of 9. The game for them doesn't rely on jump scares and is truly shaped by the ambience it creates. While critics have differing opinions, Outlast has won over the other side with its gamer score of 9.23. All in all, it's a top 10 winner with a play score of 8.53. Number 7. Terraria Engine Software's open-world adventure gives us respite from the darkness. The first thing you notice about Terraria is graphics-wise, it's a little simple. It's a far cry from the full 3D world we've come to experience, but make no mistake, Terraria's 2D pixel art world is ripe for exploration. It has the same focus on crafting and building as Mojang's Minecraft. However, it has plenty of quirks that readily sets it apart. In their review, GameCPU gave the game a score of 8 over 10. They describe the game as essentially a survival where you gather materials, find chests, and make yourself stronger. But it has quirks like having to craft items to summon bosses without any guidance whatsoever. GameSpew ends the review citing the very thing that makes the game awesome is also what makes it quite often frustrating. It's a hard balance to strike, and Terraria almost nails it. As most of the games on this list, Terraria has more clearly won over gamers. It has a total play score of 8.57. Number 6. Until Dawn If you've ever seen a horror movie, then you're definitely familiar with the frustration of watching characters make all the stupid decisions. Supermassive Games offers a solution to that with this survival horror. Play as eight adults in Blackwood Mountain and make your choices for them in order to determine who lives or dies. Over the years, there's been a whole lot of debate about whether or not it's worthy of being called a game. Whatever it is, 
The users who rated it on the different stores seem to agree that it's quite an interactive experience. As of right now, its total gamer rating is 9.22. The critics are a whole nother story. On one hand, there's COG Connected who gave it a 9.10. They admit that while Until Dawn doesn't have complex gameplay, it counters it with compelling characters, visuals, and thought-provoking storylines. Destructoid, giving it a decent 7.00, says that it allows for some predictable plotlines, hammy acting, and a lack of meaningful choices, but is glad it exists. Game or not, if it's a harrowing horror experience you want, Until Dawn provides with a total play score of 8.59. Number 5. Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition Mojang's voxel-based sandbox game brings us out of the darkness of survival horror and back to the handy world of crafting and building. Minecraft may be known for a lot of things, like their adventure mode, and most especially their imagination-unlocking creative mode, but their entry to this list is credited to their survival game mode, where players are required to collect, build, and battle in order to thrive in the voxel environment. It's often been compared to client entertainment's Don't Starve, Rating the game with an 8, Push Square goes to say its survival mechanics are casual compared to the gothic survival game. But there's plenty of depth on display and it's taught fairly well in their tutorial. For IGN, who rated the game with a 9.70, there's a lot of work chipping and collecting everything by hand, but what initially feels like a tedious task becomes the basis for Minecraft's rewarding core. Judging from just one of the game's many offerings, the PlayStation 4's Minecraft Edition is an overall success, with a play score of 8.74. Number 4. Subnautica While Minecraft gets the ticket for just one of its game modes, Subnautica makes surviving the ruthless oceans your whole life. It's a survival game set in the breathtaking open-world oceans of a whole new world. Sure, there are untold treasures in wonder-filled caverns, but there's also catastrophes and horrific creatures. Striking that delicate balance, Subnautica received a lot of 8s and 9s from critic reviewers. Gaming Bolt calls it one of the better and relatively unique takes on the open-world survival genre. Gaming Bolt went on to praise the game's deep mechanics as it challenged players to balance thirst, hunger, health, oxygen, and more, while giving you the freedom to explore the corners of its vast underseas. PS Lifestyle may have cited a few of the game's technical limitations, but ultimately, he was blown away. What initially appeared to be a knee-high kiddie pool worth of depth suddenly gives way to a literal ocean of gameplay opportunities. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 3. Resident Evil 7 – Biohazard Capcom's latest installment to their iconic horror series is injected with all sorts of new ideas. What with the poor reception of their sixth main installment, Biohazard starts us all off with a shift towards a whole new perspective. In it, you get to know the Baker family in first person. That, topped with the added thrills of the virtual reality support, makes it quite a scary ride. TechRaptor was all praises about it too, even so far as calling it the best use of VR they've seen in gaming yet. Despite the strides it has achieved, comparisons still play a large part in judging the game and the series as a whole. That's most evident in Gaming Ball's review giving Biohazard a 9, saying Capcom may possibly never top the experience provided by the first four games, but they have come really very close. Resident Evil 7 shows promise for the future of the series, and it has a play score of 8.86. What, what are you doing? Get off! No! Get off of me! Number 2, Resident Evil 2. From the promising present, we come right back to Capcom's illustrious past. This is one of the series' finest and it has crawled its way out of their old-gen graveyards and out into the shiny new world of the PlayStation 4. Return to the shoes of Claire and Leon as they look polished from head to toe and ready to take on action-packed resource management they were known for. Unlike other remakes though, Capcom goes the extra mile by adding a slew of additions to freshen up a beloved title. Dual shockers agree, remakes aren't new. But Capcom's ability to change so many facets of Resident Evil 2 while keeping the core of the game intact is one of the most impressive accomplishments. They're right, 
Not only is there new gameplay additions, it also elevates the story from the usual campiness with a new second scenario. It's an essential experience for any Resident Evil fan, and it gets a play score of 9.28. No matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Number 1. The Last of Us Remastered First released on the PS3 in 2013, Joel and Ellie's Misadventures remains at the top of the list on the last-gen console. With this remaster on the PlayStation 4, The Last of Us has more or less fallen off the top of the ranks. But, in this list of survival games, it's no doubt a runaway winner. There's so many things to love about the game, from its engaging storytelling and adrenaline-packed action, to its tug-at-your-heartstrings emotionality. All this is enhanced with their move to the more powerful PlayStation 4. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. In fact, most critic reviews for this remastered version have focused on the improvements brought about by the move. But, as a survival horror, US gamers said it best when they said it embodied the concept of genre most effectively saying, nothing about the game is in any way new or surprising, but it's all executed to near perfection. The Last of Us Remastered isn't new, but it has remained in our hearts through the years because it delivers precisely what it set out to do. It has a play score of 9.4.